Hey Rifters and soon to be Rifters, John here, back with another Oculus Rift gameplay and review. Today we're going to be checking out Rift Max Theater, which is a virtual cinema that has multiplayer, which is really cool, and 4D experiences, which currently there is only one 4D experience. And it also has themed theaters, which is really cool. But before we get started, I had a little bit of trouble getting this to work properly. And to save you guys the trouble of having to figure it out yourself, you're going to need to download K-Lite Kodak Pack to get 3D movies to run without lagging, which I will leave a link in the description below for that. Also, the forms did mention that you need QuickTime, or you might need QuickTime for this to run. I already have QuickTime, so I'm not sure if you do or not. So if the K-Lite Kodak Pack doesn't work for you, you might also want to try downloading QuickTime. But anyway, let's go ahead and check out the game settings real quick here. There is a My Webcam setting, which I won't be able to use since I'm recording with my webcam. But essentially, it, it shows your webcam on the theater screen, which is pretty cool, I guess. Other people could check out your webcam on multiplayer. There's also laser pointers, which is used with the Razer Hydra. And unfortunately, I don't have a Razer Hydra, so I can't check that out. I am using a controller. You can also use the keyboard and mouse. You can select your video libraries here, which is really simple. And you have a couple of video options. The voice mode 3D allows you to hear people only in the theater or around you and not outside, which is really cool. You can select your microphone and enable voice and disable it. Let's go ahead and go to back here. You can also choose your avatar and change your name here, which I recommend doing. I've joined a couple servers with people their name still player. But anyway, as you can see on the bottom here, it does say what version it is and if there's any updates, which is really, really cool. That way you don't have to check the forms every damn time. Go ahead and go into game lobby. Now you can change the display mode to Rift and monitor so for those of you that don't have your rift yet and still want to check this out you can check it out on the monitor which is really great for, for those guys now currently there's only one theater open one online theater and the guy is afk we will go to that in a minute I but first we're just gonna go ahead and start my own theater this is a new version that he updated with a themed theater. Currently it's underwater, but for now we're just going to go to classic. I'll show you the underwater in just a second here. Go ahead and click on start theater. Now you start out, start out in, the, in the hallway here in the lobby, and you can go to other ones, other theaters here. Currently they're all closed, but this one this one puts it onto the 3D Encounter video, which will cancel your server. We'll check that out in just a second, but let's go ahead and go into the theater. Now the hallway here, it's kind of basic right now. But the theater itself is really freaking epic. It's freaking huge. And the screen itself is, is IMAX size. Go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get to a chair here first. Alright, now you can load any video on your computer. The first one we're going to check out is probably the most anticipated one. The Thriller video with 4D experience. Which I had to download off YouTube. I had to rip it off YouTube to get it to work which is not complicated. It's something you can do a Google search on how to do very quickly. Now once you select the video, you need to go to change video type. And since this is a 4D experience, you're gonna select 4D. Now you're gonna to need to select the file type, which this one is side by side, but there's also top, bottom, and 2D. So we're gonna go ahead and select side by side. And Thriller intro, since it is the Thriller video, go ahead and sit down. As you can see, you do have body and arms. If I had the Hydra, I could move my hands and stuff and poke at people and shine the lasers if you wanna be one of those dicks that shine lasers at the movie screen. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. 
Like I said, the theater screen is so big in the Rift. It's really freaking cool. Now, this is a 4D experience, which means there's going to be stuff happening inside the theater, not just on the, as you can see, not just on the screen, which is really cool. He did a really good job with this 4D experience. It synced up really, really nicely. The 3D effects work, works really well. I could totally sit back and watch an entire 3D movie or even a 2D movie in this. This old ugly ass Michael Jackson. Apparently this is the only 4D experience he has made. I think he's working on more themes, which I'll be showing you the underwater theme in a second when this is over. Freaking creepy ass spider. <laughs> Alright, no, that was a thriller video. As you can see, the, the whole theater here is still filled up with fog. Now, this this will prompt you to ask if you want to load the video that goes with this theme. And I'm going to select yes. Now, this may lag. My internet sucks. I have really slow internet. As you can see, there is another guy here watching this video. Go ahead and see if he can hear me. What's up, man? Oh, I think he's AFK. Now, this is an extremely good 3D video. The 3D effect works really, really well. That really feels like it's going to poke my damn eyes out. Now since we are on a server... Let's see here. We can go to chat and talk to this guy, which I'm going to do real quick here. I think he's AFK though. As you can see on their chest it shows their name and if they're the surfer or if they're just someone joining. Unfortunately there is only one lobby up right now and the guy is AFK. I really wanted to show that you can actually talk to each other and chat with each other which shows a lot of potential for this type of thing being able to sit in a theater with your friends or people you know from across the world and be able to chat with them while watching a movie would be extremely freaking cool and once the rift does hit consumer version there'll be a lot more people and stuff like this would just it'll become normal where people just chill and watch movies together and interact online in 3D space so I really I just I can't wait for it his legs are inside the chair hey guy hey guy you there now you do have to push to talk to talk which is great that way he ain't hearing everything I'm saying unfortunately he is a okay so we are gonna go ahead and quit game 
I'm going to go ahead and start a theater with the underwater just to show you the filling up of it. Now it starts out like this and then you can fill it with water which it gets kind of loud so I'm not going to talk while it's filling up. Now the theater starts to fill up with water which is really freaking cool. Unfortunately you can't swim around. You can kind of jump a little higher. Go ahead and pick a movie real quick. 3D, 3D side by side. Now once the theater fills all the way up, that loud sound of water running does stop, which is good, because it is really loud. Now I did load up Avatar in 3D. We're just going to go ahead. Now this is a, a 3D, a 4D experience theater that works with any movie, which is really cool. Because there's a bunch of different kinds of fish swimming around and turtles and everything else, which is really, really cool. The 3D effect in Avatar wasn't that great to begin with. I really love this movie, and it's, it is a lot better in 3D. But it doesn't pop out as good as some other movies that were actually made with 3D in mind to begin with. But I still... I did watch this entire movie in 3D, not in this program, in VR Player, because this wasn't out yet. But I could totally sit in this theater and watch this movie. It does really give you a sense of being in a theater. Now, the developer does plan on adding different themes. This is his first theme theater, which is really cool. It's a really neat idea to be underwater in a theater, something you would never get to do in an actual theater, because you would drown and, and get electrocuted. But it, it's really neat actually having stuff swim around in the theater. And go ahead and load a 2D movie to show you guys that 2D movies also work. Um, currently I only have five videos. I just copied a couple of my videos and threw them in, in a movie folder. I have a shitload of videos and I didn't want to load them all. Let's just go ahead and load Pineapple Express. Now each movie you do need to select what it is. Pineapple Express is a 2D movie, so does need to be selected as 2D for it to play or play properly at least but as you can see guys 2D movies do work and it's actually pretty damn badass because the screen is so freaking huge so much better than watching it on a monitor and even with the low resolution of the rift you cannot really tell that it's low resolution it looks fine within the rift which is great I can't imagine watching a watching a movie in high resolution in the Rift when the consumer version comes out. That's going to be freaking epic. Unfortunately, there's still only that same theater. Nobody else has nobody else has joined. When there is a bunch of theaters, you can pick which one you want to join, and it shows the name here. And you can make private theaters for you and your friends to join. And there's also public ones, as you can see, what we joined earlier. But anyway, guys, overall, this is a really nice program. I really like the idea of theme theaters, and the 4D experience is really immersive. Hopefully, he keeps doing more 4D experiences, and being able to watch your movies on a massive screen within the Rift while you're sitting at home is really cool, and the idea of actually being able to be able to watch movies with your friends in real time in a theater and, and voice chat with them and everything is really freaking cool. As always guys, I will leave links below. Oh, there's a little thing preventing water from going out here. Anyway, as always guys, I will leave links below for this and I'll also leave links below for the Kodak pack to get this to work properly. If you have any comments, questions, or requests, please post them below. If you like this video and would like to see more, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys.